How's it going everybody? It's Chris. And Christina. And we're here with the pickups. And all this stuff that we're going to be showing you is all from Anime North. And if you don't know what Anime North is, check out the video that we made. It'll be right here, I think. Uh, something new that we wanted to do and we said, screw it, we'll do it. And hopefully you guys like it. I'd highly recommend you check it out. Some of the items here will be featured in the video. And without further ado, let's get this shit started. Your stuff first? So, I bought mainly a bunch of games, and you bought... Mainly Power Ranger stuff. So, different stuff for everybody. I know some people like Power Rangers, and some like games, like me. And... This is enough talking, let's just go through it because there's a bunch of stuff here. To start off, I got a few PSP games. This one came in a bundle with an item that you'll see in the very end. And first game is on PSP, and that's Sonic Rivals. Hopefully you can see that. Next is Crisis Core on the PSP. I've been really wanting to play this. Because I just picked up something which you'll see soon, but how about you show some of your stuff? A couple of your things. A couple of my things that I got. Definitely one of them is a Loot Crate exclusive of Team Fortress 2 Buttons. So if you don't know what Team Fortress 2 is, it's a game by Valve and it's, it's a multiplayer game and there's different game types like Team Deathmatch, Payload, and so on. And the buttons represent some... Uh, the the blue team the oh wait the red team the blue team and the sandwich that I think the I think that's a reference to the sandwich that the heavy eats and then there's a balloony corn. Mayor balloony corn a pyro so land. If you want to see one more time? There it is. I really do want the slushy. Moving on, for me, uh, I got some Wii games now. I would tell you the price of everything, but out of respects. Of the person that I bought it from, I won't say, but all I can say is that 90% of this stuff I got at the Namanichi. And if you don't know what the Namanichi is, like I said, the video will be right there in the description for you guys to watch. But it's basically kind of a flea market where other fans of anime and other cultures come together to sell some of their stuff that they don't want or they just need some cash or whatever the reason is. And most of the times they're willing to do do a good deal now I like I said I won't say the prices on everything but I get I can say that I spent around a hundred at the Namanichi and around 200 at the dealers room and a little bit more in the, in the Namanichi somewhere around there I can't even remember myself because the day was pretty crazy and hectic buying stuff but let's get let's continue I know I paid $10 for this, and it's one game that I've been really wanting to play, and it's Escape on Bug Island on the Wii. Uh, I've seen some gameplay played by a YouTuber, and after seeing him play it, I just decided to say, screw it, I'll pick it up, because it's a pretty dope game. It's probably not the best controls, but it's here. Next is Baroque. Looked interesting, and I got it pretty cheap. Next is... Donkey Kong Country. This I got a really good deal on. I think it was five or ten dollars for it. Next is Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. For most of the games, I think I spent a hundred dollars total, but there's some other stuff that I spent on, and yeah. Next are some PS2 games, and for people who are not don't know me well, um. I'm trying to go for a complete PS2 collection. Before this, I had around, I think, 180 around there. But now with what I have now, I think I'm at 193. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, there's, there's two PS2 games I picked up. Dark Cloud and this Karaoke Revolution Party. I know I paid two bucks for that, so. And this I forgot how much I paid because I already ripped out the sticker and I don't even remember. But how about you show some of your things? Definitely one of the things that I've got in Nominichi it are from Dino 
dyno charge. It's mainly the morpher and some of the batteries here. And I apparently I also asked for a idea if they can include this battery from Super Sentai, which has the Magi Ranger in it. The red Magi Ranger. So it's basically these, but the, that's the Japanese one, right? Yep, that is from Super Sentai. For some reason, theirs is way bigger. We checked online in comparison of the US and the Japanese toy that came up for this, and the Japanese one looks way bigger and more yellower if you, if you just Google it. And more brave. And it's pretty cool. How much did you pay for that? Okay, so originally this this cost um, $25, but then thanks to Chris, he haggled his way down to five bucks, five bucks down. So he, I paid $20. And originally, with the Super Sentai battery, this cost five bucks, but I asked if they can include it with, with the deal as well. I might as well get it in there, because it's kind of part of it, even though it can't go inside the gun. That's fine. It's yeah. my investment. Five bucks is five bucks. I don't know what she means by investment, but moving on. There's some GameCube games that I picked up for real cheaps. I won't say the price, because like I said. First is Mario Party 7. This is the first Mario Party game I will be owning for out of all the consoles I own. Next is Soul Calibur. Now the reason I picked this up because I was told that each Soul Calibur in different consoles has a different character exclusive for their system. So I noticed that, oh okay this one has Link. I forgot what PS2 had. I think they have Heihachi. I'm not sure. And I know that the Xbox regular version has Spawn. I, I could be wrong. Next is Geist on the GameCube. Now I remember seeing this all the time at EB Games and I never picked it up because I don't know why. Because I'm a weirdo like that. But Geist. Because Geist. It looks interesting. I have to see in the back. But I have some more stuff. I have more PS2 stuff. And I'm just careful that I don't knock all this shit down. Bad stacks. Like I said, I got a bunch of stuff, uh, mainly PS2 stuff, so let's just do this quickly. Rumble Roses, I think I got that for five. Naruto Uzaki Chronicles, I think I paid five for it. I didn't really want to pay five for it, but it's, I got it in a bundle with another game, which you'll see. And one game that I'm really excited to having is, because I, I was worried that I would never get these games right away, because they're pretty expensive. Even in Canada, some... Some some t stores here in Toronto don't look at the prices online, and they once they see like an anime style game, they usually charge like sixty to a hundred dollars sometimes. But luckily, this person that sold it to me looked at the actual price of it, and I got I haggled a little bit down, and I got it for a pretty decent price for what it should be charging, and not sh what Toronto is charging, Toronto game stores. And that is Dot Hack Infection, and super hyped because I've been wanting to get the Dot Hack series. And there might be a chance I might get in Dot Hack Quarantine, I think that's the one. But yeah, moving on, I got another PS2 game. It's Batman Rise of Sinzu. Looks pretty cool. This one I got picked up for five bucks is a sealed copy of Rise of the Kasai. I think that's what it's called. Rise of the Kasai. Hopefully there's no glare. Just in case, because we do have... And if you hear any construction, that's mainly from upstairs from my building. They're doing some renovations, and I apologize if you hear that. Jack 3. Now, all I'm missing is Jack... Two, oh, Jack and Daxter 2, whatever it's called. I'm playing, I'm currently playing Jack and Daxter, the first one. I'm liking it so far. I've been really wanting to play that one for a while, so. Now I have the third one, and I got it for, I got it in a bundle for, like, 15 bucks. I forgot what was, what, what was included in it. But moving on. It's fine. I got two more, I think this will be, no, wait, no, there's a few more things. Now, the first one is Air Force Delta Strike. I usually don't see this game, so that's why I bit the bullet and picked it up. Because why not? It's, I, I played it a little bit. It's pretty... 
the com the combat in it, it's kind of weird because sometimes you go down and you don't know why. I'm not I'm probably not re uh, listening to what they're saying, but I just kept on dying in the beginning. But after a while, I got a got a handle of it. But moving on, now this is one game is another game that I like for some reason Toronto ten and some other stories tend to overcharge for it and sometimes charge to up to like 40 30 20 dollars for it and in reality it's just a 15 dollar game but i got it for a really cheap price and this is xeno saga one game i've been really wanting to play i hear it's hard as hell but and when i was testing this out for some reason this game did not work at all I don't know what it is. The the discs seem seem okay to me. The, there's not really any scratches. This is a little dusty, but what I'm guessing is that my PS2 doesn't play it properly. I'm guessing I need a PS2 Slim. So I don't. I'm not saying that this is this doesn't work at all. I'm guessing because it's I have an older PS2 and then that's why it's not working. I'll probably get a PS2 Slim eventually. There are some other games that have the same issue, mainly like blue disc games, but there are a few other games that have that issue as well. That are perfectly fine, but the disc doesn't work for some reason on my PS2. But yeah, moving on, go ahead and show what you got. Another thing that I got at Naminichi is a sort of Power Ranger keys, basically from, from SPD to Samurai, Super Mega Force, Mystic Force. Just, just for you guys so you can see, there's a couple there. They turn into keys. See? Mainly, it's a lot of red ranger keys, but it's fine. I'm... And this is this ranger key is... I'm, I know it's from Super Sentai, but I can't remem remember from which season it is. I want to leave some comment below what it is, but... Yeah. yeah. Originally, I think there were 20... 20, 25? Yeah, it's, yeah, originally they were charging $20, but then Chris got it down to $15. Thank you. So that's pretty good. Next are some DS games that I got on the cheaps. First off, we got Final Fantasy 3, a clean copy of Final Fantasy 3, and Final Fantasy 12. Revenant Wings. Now I've been really wanting to play this because I actually enjoyed Final Fantasy XII. It was a pretty dope game. I think that was my second Final Fantasy game game that I beat, and it was on the PS2. Next is Pokemon Pearl. You know, because you gotta get them Pokemons because they like crack. Moving on. I got some PS Pison games, PS1 games. I'll leave that one to last. These I got on the cheaps, like two bucks. Bugs Life, I've been wanting to play this for a while. Two, this one I just got because why the hell not? Because it's two bucks. RC Team Lossy Racer, I think that's what it's called, or RC Racer. It's just a regular racing game. RC Cars. And now this was one game that I've been really wanting because I remember playing a demo of it when I was a kid and I still have the demo disc. And it's one of, it's one of my goals is to get every game that was on that demo disc and have it, you know, and I actually play the game instead of just watching the trailers and playing the demo of it. And one of the games is Test Drive 5. There's nothing special about it, it's just a racing game. I liked it when I was a kid. Now this is one of the... One of the items that I did pick up. This came with the Naruto. I originally wanted they originally wanted twenty for twenty-five for it, but I asked them for twenty. And they said, well, why don't you buy something else so I can and it should give me it for twenty-five. So I got the Naruto game, which is like okay, five bucks, and I thought, well, oh, alright, fine. And the game is Final Fantasy Seven. Greatest hits version though, because I don't really care what version it is. I'll probably get a black label eventually. But I finally own this game. I have played it before. I have it downloaded on my PS3, the digital version. And oh, uh, the discs are okay. Some of them are scratched up, but I, I think that they said that the discs are refurb, uh, resurfaced. So I tested it out just to see if it worked, and yeah, it does work. 
The only thing it doesn't have is the manual, so that, that, that kind of sucks, but it doesn't, it's alright. Most PS1 games, double disc, like triple, multiple disc copies, usually don't have the manual in it for some reason. Well, how about you show a couple more of your things? Couple, one of the things that I got on Sunday morning at the dealer's room is the Power Rangers. Another Power Rangers toy that has Tommy the White Ranger and Finding Ivan Ooze. I'm guessing, to me, I'm, I'm guessing that, that that was like probably like a McDonald's or Burger King toy that came out promoing the, the Power Rangers movie. Well, it says 1995 Saban made in China, but I don't think it has McDonald's in here. Uh, it looks like a McDonald's toy to me because this looks like the quality of a McDonald's toy if you want to see close up. Go ahead and continue from what you have. Okay. And, oh, I, I actually... I think you should leave that one for last. Yeah, okay. Oh, and another thing that I got at Naminichi last night was the official Hamtaro Handbook. I really love Hamtaro. It's one of the animes that I loved watching back in the day when I was growing up. I don't think it's an anime, but she does. And for some reason, my anime list, the website, has it as an anime. I could be wrong. Somebody can correct me and say, no, it's an anime, man. Okay, fine. Well, but, originally... Um, we, we couldn't haggle down to a lower price, but then a few a few seconds later, one of the vendors came up to me stating that apparently the stickers are gone because they You're ripping the page because they used it. So they gave me a different sticker. And what's the sticker? Black. It's a sticker that I selected was a Black Rock Shooter sticker, but I'm not sure where it is right now. Yeah, it's currently. Hey, well, but it, I saw it already. It's like a chibi form of Black Rock Shooter. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I guess I'll put these all together. Um, yeah. next is a copy of Final Fantasy four, five, five on the Famicom. I just saw it, it was a price at five bucks, and I was like, okay, I'll pick it up. I don't even have a Famicom, but just having the game is very cool. Next is a Spider-Man 2 t-shirt. I just picked a 10 bucks. Why not? <laughs> just throw a shirt. Next is... I got this for free because I bought some cards and it, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel manga. I've been collecting those Zexel manga because I like the Yu-Gi-Oh!s. I don't play it that much, but I... I... Do get the mangas. Now the last PS2 game, this is like one of the first purchases that I got at the Nominichi and I was hyped because I usually don't see this game for cheaps because anime games, for some reason, like I said, Toronto and, and, and any conventions, they tend to triple the price for some reason, even though that's not what it's worth, and that is Tales of Abyss. doesn't have the manual, but the game and the disc are perfectly fine. Super hyped about that. I was just watching the, the intro of that and it was pretty cool. It was very anime-ish. Well, it is anime. But yeah, um, show a couple more things that you have left. A couple more things that I got are basically minions. I'm pretty sure that they're from McDonald's though. Either way, they're a dollar each, so I wanted to get it. So she liked the minions. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. Okay. Minions are cool. Don't hate. Okay. Now you have a few things left, but I'll show these quickly. I did buy a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and some Pokemon cards. I'll go through them quickly so you can see them. Um, there. I hope I hope you guys can see that. If if not, I will make a better video of them or a picture of how they look. I hope you can see them. And that's my phone ringing. It doesn't matter. Hold this. Yep. There's some more Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh. More Pokemon. Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. I, oh, I actually can't really tell because they're in sleeve. Yu-Gi-Oh. Bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that's a weird sleeve. Yu-Gi-Oh. 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 Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve. But yeah, that's 
that's all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And when I bought one of the some of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they threw in a sticker for her, and that was a Pikachu. It's a vintage sticker. Yay! The Pikachu. It's how oh, long? What year is it? Nineteen ninety nine Nintendo. Very cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Next is some one PS4 game and a couple PS3 games. Now this I paid full price on, so I don't really care if I say the price. Paid thirty bucks for the HD remaster of X and X2. Cause X2 was my first Final Fantasy game that I ever played. And I don't really care what people say that the game sucks. I don't care because I think it's a really good game and I like strong female protagonists. Because they're pretty cool and you don't see that many. Well, there is a good amount, but it's not, often that not my favorites. Some of them are not my favorites. Next, I got this for two bucks. It was sealed, but I already opened it to see if, you know, just because I'm, I opened shit. Uh, Singularity. Okay, next is a steel book copy of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I picked it up for a few dollars, so why not? And I got a strategy guide of SmackDown vs. Raw. I think it's 2005. Because I know it's, or something, 2000, no, yeah, 2005 probably. It's t I paid 10 bucks if you can see it there. Well, how about you show your last two, last thing? Last thing that I got, it was um, also on Sunday morning. Um, originally, I wanted to to lower the price only because of the condition of the box, but unfortunately, they said no. So I had to pay the full price, which is fifteen dollars. But it is Power Rangers Wild Force Pegasus Megazord. Even though the box is kind of damaged here, I'm still willing to get it. And plus, he kind of pressured me too. I didn't. I just showed her it, and she was like, "I need this," and she bought it. It's Wild Force. The rest of these reservation. Okay, moving on is the final thing that I got, and it's probably like the most expensive item that I got. Originally, they wanted seventy for it. I offered fifty because I'm just that kind of guy. That guy. It's heavy, so that's why it's taking me a while. Okay. So originally, I wanted. I wanted to pay seventy for it. No, wait, they they were asking seventy for it, and I said fifty. They said sixty five, and I thought, okay, how about this? There's something else I wanted, and I just said throw that in, and I'll pay seventy for it. And they said, yo, I said to throw in Yoshi's cookies and complete in box. The box is a little crunchy, but the copy in the game is very clean, a clean copy. Um, it it looks pretty cool. I like Yoshi cookie. Because, you know, I like Yoshi. Okay. But the final thing was that was bundled with it was a Xbox 360. It's a little scratched up. Works perfectly fine. The seller said that he only used it a few times and it was just, he was done with it. And. I don't know what 360s go for, but I think this is one of the more l recent models that they came out with. I know it's not an Elite. I think this came. I know for sure this came out after after the Xbox Elite. So I was pretty much okay with it, and it came with the hookups, the cord, the controller, and you know all the fixings together. And I think that's pretty much it. Except I got this free Rubik's cube. And I got a few PS2 games. I like Rubik's Cube. I, maybe I should have got a manga, but it doesn't matter. Rubik's Cube. I've been wanting a Rubik's Cube for a while. So that'll be it, guys. We're done. Camera just died on us, so we got to hurry this up. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're Anime North Goer, subscribe to the channel because there's a good video that's going to be coming out. And I hopefully plan on doing more like, the, like that in the future. But without further ado, I'm signing off. Signing off as well. Follow us on our social media accounts on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. Next day we're about to drop at 7, 75.54. Dude, we'll be, we're not going to be here at that time. Go rest in peace. Oh, jeez. Rip the Wild Force Ranger. No!